So focaccia is one of the most delicious of the Italian breads. And if you're at a restaurant and a bread basket comes and you got focaccia in there, it's gonna be the first one to go, the first one to go. Now a good focaccia will have a nice, beautiful, crisp, light crust, and the inside is going to be fluffy and it's just gonna be dynamite. So today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make one of the most basic focaccias, and that's just a rosemary and garlic with a little bit of red pepper flake. So let's do it. So I already proofed my yeast. I just did that with some honey and yeast in warm water and let that sit until it got all fluffy and beautiful like it is now. And now we're gonna start working on the dough. So the first thing we're gonna do is use some bread flour. Now, you can also use all-purpose flour here. I like the bread flour because I just think, because it has a little extra gluten in it, it just makes it a little bit more fluffy and you know, what you're looking for when it comes to a delicious bread. So we're just gonna add our flour in here. So to this, I'm also gonna add the salt. Whoops. <laughs> and we're just gonna whisk it all around. Now we're just gonna be adding our yeast mixture. And then we're just gonna mix it around until most of the liquid is gone. So once your dough starts becoming a shaggy like this, we're gonna add some olive oil to it. We're just gonna add a little bit of olive oil to it, about a tablespoon or so. And then we're just gonna mix it all together. This time I like to use my hands because I just think hands are better. Now you're gonna have a shaggy dough right now. Don't worry about it. It's all gonna come together in the end, I promise. If at any point you do think that it needs a little bit more though, go ahead and add some. And you're basically just gonna mix this around until there's no more dry spots, so no more of those little dry flower pockets. And then once you do that, we're just gonna cover it with some plastic wrap and let it sit at room temperature for about 30 minutes. Okay, so now what we're going to do is help develop the gluten. And we're gonna do that here by just stretching and folding the dough over itself. So think of this as in sets. We're gonna do four sets of four stretches and folds. And basically all this means you're gonna dip your hand in some water, just helps so you're not too sticky, and you're gonna grab the dough from underneath and pull it up and over the side. Now at this point it might feel a little bit dry in certain areas, but I promise after our next three sets it's gonna be perfect and glorious. So we've done our first set. We're gonna put our plastic wrap back over it and let it sit for another 30 minutes. So in between every set it sits for 30 minutes. So that's another two hours basically of it sitting like this before we add it to a dish. So I'm just gonna do my next three sets and then I'll show you guys the next step. So in the meantime we're gonna make our like brine topping that's gonna be poured over the focaccia right before it's ready to bake. So what we're gonna do first is just combine two tablespoons of water with two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. To that we're gonna add our rosemary and garlic, a nice pinch of red pepper flakes, and a pinch of salt. And then you're just gonna stir it all together. Okay, so now we've performed our four different sets of our fold and stretches, and we're now we're going to just be adding our dough onto the actual baking sheet. So this is a nine by, I think, 13. You're gonna do about a fourth of a cup of olive oil here. Make sure you get it all over. Ideally, you would use a pan that has a little bit more of higher sides, like two inch sides. I just don't have that, so this is what we're working with. So now we're just gonna move our dough into here, and you wanna make sure that you coat it in all of the olive oil. Now you're just gonna stretch it as much as you can, making sure to not tear it. If at any point, like right now, he's a little bit stuck and he doesn't wanna stretch it anymore, you're just gonna cover it up for about 10 to 15 minutes, let him relax a little bit, and then you can come back and stretch it out a little bit more. Once you reach all the corners of this, you're gonna cover it up again, and then let it proof for around 45 to 60 minutes. And then after that, we'll do the dimples, put on the topping, and bake it. Okay, so our focaccia has rested, and now we are going to do the best part, the most satisfying part, and that is making the focaccia dimples in the dough. So basically what you're gonna be doing is taking some cold water, just dipping your fingers in it, and then you're just pressing into the dough with your three fingers. Now when you do this, you don't wanna break the dough, but you do wanna make sure that you're pressing all the way to the bottom and you wanna feel the bottom of your pan. Now these holes aren't only super cool looking, but they also help to really capture the toppings that we're gonna be putting on top of it because the topping sinks into the holes and it just makes the whole thing absolutely freaking beautiful. Okay, so now for one of the best parts, we are going to be pouring our topping onto the focaccia. And then just get in there and make sure it's all the way around. Okay, so now that this is all ready, we are going to bake it in a preheated 450 degree oven for about 25 minutes. Make sure you check. You want the top to be golden and then you're going to immediately transfer it to a wire rack so that it could cool. All right, you know what? I have no patience. So we're gonna cut her now. We're gonna cut just a little bit, a little bit, because I want to taste test it. Look, oh, look at that. 
The top is crispy, it's golden, it's perfection. The inside is soft, it's amazing. Look at this, look at this. If this came in a bread basket, gone. It would be gone. It was freaking amazing. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. This was such a delicious day. Ooh, let me know if you try this and I will see you guys in the next video.